Good afternoon. On the surface, this is a piece of blue fabric, fabric and carved metal. At its core, it is a symbol of our nation, a nation forged in war, of men and women who act heroically and give their all in the nation, for all for the nation and for each other. At its core, it is a symbol of the responsibility all soldiers knowingly face when they depart for distant lands in defense of the nation, a responsibility that locks us all in bonds of brotherhood. The Medal of Honor is said to be the, high, the nation's highest award for valor by one individual. To me, it is much more. It is representation of the responsibility we accept as warriors and members of a team. It is a testament to the trust we have in each other and our leaders. Because of these reasons, the medal cannot be an individual award. Battles are not won by men. If that were true, the Taliban would have won on that trail in Afghanistan because they had every tactical advantage, including the numbers. Battles are won by spirit, and spirit is present in the relationships built from the trust and sacrifice we share with one another in times of hardship, and by that definition cannot be possessed by one person. Without the team, there could be no Medal of Honor. That is why I wear this medal for my team. I also wear a piece of metal around my wrist. It was given to me by another survivor of the 9 November ambush. He wears an identical one. This is maybe even more precious than the metal symbol just placed around my neck. On it are the names of my six fallen brothers. They are my heroes. Though I am still uncomfortable with hearing my name and the word hero in the same sentence, I am now ready for the challenge of proudly wearing this blue piece of fabric and carved metal with the same reverence that I wear the bracelet, and I vow to live up to the responsibility of doing so. Thank you all for allowing me to share this day with you. God bless you, the United States Army, and God bless America.